the silo come. Shiloh is Christ. Shiloh means peaceable. What that means by calling Christ peaceful means that he made peace between us and the Father because we broke the law, the covenant, so they had to come somebody to redeem us back to the Most High because we became outcasts when we broke the covenant. So Christ made the final sacrifice and redeemed us back to the Father so he made peace between us and the Father. That's why it's called that peace. Go on. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And when it say unto him shall be the gathering, it's talking about Christ and it's talking about Judah. Shiloh is Christ. Everybody got that? Uh -huh. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be, mean Christ. Christ has to come and wake him up first with the twelve disciples. Okay, now Judah is petitioned to go out and gather the tribe. So that's what's happening now. There go. The eleventh verse. Binding his foes unto the vine, and his asses coats unto the choice vine. The vine is talking about his grapes, wine, the grapevine. The so-called Negro like one? Uh -huh. Yeah, what's the name? Red Fox used to talk about that. Uh, hey, but they drinking that Muscatel and Swiss up that bad guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's that? Midtown, uh, midnight, uh, midnight train. Midnight train. Very good. He washed his garments in wine. Yeah, he's the hey. That means you drink anytime you wash your garments in wine. That means you're drinking a lot of wine. So you're spilling all over your garments, right? <laughs> Everybody got to understand that? Uh -huh. no. And his clothes in the blood of grace. And his clothes in the blood of grace means he spilled a lot of wine on himself. Meaning he drank a lot of wine. Everybody got the meaning of that? So Judah, the so-called Negro, do drink a lot of wine. Maybe they don't drink much wine like like now because they're into what? Crack and all that other stuff. They're in the tripping and all that. They do used to drink a lot of wine. That's why uh, Red Fox and all them was talking about that. That's why, uh, what's his name? Uh, Richard Pryor. When he's doing his thing, got the uh, imaginary wine bottle in the crack. <laughs> there we go. The 12th verse. His eyes shall be red with wine. Meaning, meaning he's like a lot of wine. And it's also talking about Christ with like a lot of wine. Everybody got that? And that's telling you why his eyes were red. When you go and you read that his eyes were red. In Revelation. Everybody got that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And his teeth white with milk. They used to have them signs down south. I don't think any of y'all know about that. Where they had a Jake on the sign and you just see the white eyes and you see the teeth. White. Okay. Oh, you saw them, right? <laughs> the 13th verse. Zebulun shall dwell at the haven of the sea. Now we're down to the tribe of Zebulun. We got Judah. Judah is who? So, 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 so. Uh, Reuben is who? So, 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 so. Simeon is who? <laughs> Levi is who? Yes. Okay. Now start again. Reuben is who? Simeon is who? Dominican. Dominican is what? Of uh, Indian descent and Negro descent. Listen good. Of uh, Indian father and Negro father. So you can understand. Levi is who? Okay, uh, Judah is who? And where is he located at? No, America. America. What part of America? No, no America. America. Remember that, because this is all called America. All right, uh, Zebulun. Come on. Read it, read it again. Genesis, Genesis 49, chapter 13, verse. Zebulun shall dwell at the haven of the sea. So I've given you where Zebulun shall be in the last days. What is, what is this we living in? Last days. Okay. They say that Zebulon in the last days would be for a haven of ships. That's Panama. 
Panama is for a haven of ship. That's why the Panama Canal was through there. Everybody got that? Uh -huh. <clears throat> so from Guatemala to Panama, that whole strip of the land going down to Panama, not just Panama, from Guatemala to Panama, they located the tribe of who? Yeah. Everybody got that? Not uh -huh. just the Panamanians. It goes from Guatemala to Panama. I don't have the map in here with me. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, go ahead. And he shall be for a haven of ships. And he shall be for a haven of ships. Ship, do ships go through Panama? Uh -huh. Three. And his border shall be unto Zidon. So in ancient time, he was along the borders of Zion, Palestine. So now in modern time, he's where? He's uh, down at the borders now that they're going through. Okay? Between North and South America, right? <laughs> All right. Next. Come on. The 14th chapter verse. Ithacar is a strong ass, couching down between two burdens. And, and this is beautiful because they got on the banners in Mexico, a burrow loaded down with a whole lot of burdens. A whole lot of bundles on top of his back. Y'all seen that? Read the statement again. Issachar is a strong ass, couching down between two burdens. So Issachar is the Mexican of Indian descent. Okay, because why do I say Indian descent? Because you got Spaniards in Mexico call themselves Mexicans. They're not the real Mexicans. The real Mexican is the one of Indian fathers. Everybody got that? Right. Read on. And he saw that wreck was good. Do they have a siesta down there? Right. Man, it's beautiful. It's just super clear. And even in the lost tribes, it can tell you about that too. It tell you who certain tribes is within the lost tribes. You got. You have to really get into that. I can't think of where the part is where it tell you about Ephraim. Yeah, and, uh, Ephraim and, and uh, Manasseh. Yeah. Go ahead. And, and the land that it was pleasant. And he, when he's saying the land that it was pleasant means he was a farmer. Is he a farmer? Right. Remember during the revolutionary against the Spaniards, against the Germans and the, and the Portuguese that was in their land, the Dutch that was in, in Mexico? They were fighting against them. Pancho Villa. Uh, Zapata. Emiano, Emi, Emiano, I think his name is. Emiano Zapata. Okay. They made a movie about that. Zapata. Viva Zapata with uh, Marlon Brown. And they darkened him up to make the movie. Because he's supposed to be Indian. They darkened him up. How I many of you saw that movie? Okay. That's a true story. Very long. And bowed his shoulder to bear. And he bowed his shoulder to bear the land. He became a farmer, because that's what he was. No. And became a servant unto tribute. And he became a servant unto who? Tribute. tribute. So who was making him pay tribute? The Spaniards, the Dutch, and the Germans that was in there was making him pay tribute. And then he rebelled against them. That's Pancho Villa and all of that, and Viva Zapata and so on. Everybody with me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Um, so, who is this a cop? Mexican. 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 Because one of the tribes had to be taken out, because there was too many. How many was it when we came out of Egypt? Thirteen. thirteen. Why was it thirteen tribes? The Levites. The Levites were the teachers. Right. Levites prayed the priesthood. That's why. Now, after the Levites prayed the priesthood, then they're supposed to go back to twelve. That's why it says this in Revelation. Read it for four verses. Revelation, the seventh chapter, and the 